Good vibes only for sure. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So we are here at Tokyo Station once again. I'm sure you guys are getting a little bit bored of seeing Tokyo Station all the time. But this is my home base, so I can't really help it. Uh, we are looking for an ekiben for Satoshi to eat on the train. Because today, we are going to be going to Hiroshima. It's a 4 hour train ride on the Shinkansen. Hello everybody! How are you guys doing? Anyway, here's the bento shop. Right here. This is probably the best place to buy ekiben. The selection here is huge. Okay, we're gonna go to a different place. Uh, Satoshi decided that there's too many people in that bento shop. There are other places that sell bento, so don't worry. Okay, right downstairs on the B1 floor is Grand Stop Tokyo. And they have more uh, shops and restaurants. Uh, some really nice ones, so we're gonna go down there and look for something to eat for Satoshi. I'm gonna get something to drink. Okay, so we've arrived on the B1 floor. This is where a lot of the good bentos can be found. I love, I love this floor. <laughs> Basically, it's all food, you know? We can buy some nice salads on this side. Some yakitori over there. What do you think you're gonna get? I Man, don't know. You don't know yet. Wait, Imahan famous for skiyaki. Ishon. Ishon is good too. I do like Ishon. I wonder what he's going to get. I think he's gonna pick up some salad, a little salad here. This shop has uh, little side dishes like this salad that you can pick up. So this is where all the bentos are. Satoshi's buying his bento now. If you turn this way, this is where all the restaurants are. Here's a little map of the restaurant here. See all these different restaurants here? While he buys his salad, I'm gonna go to Dini Di Luca to get myself a big cup of hot tea. Yeah. I need some tea for the Shinkansen. On the left side, all these are cake shops. That's a hat shop on my right side. There's a really nice uh, cupcake shop too. But no food for me today. I'm gonna be eating something when we arrive in Hiroshima today. Union de Luca is at the end here. And they have a nice takeout counter here. Right here. Check it out guys, there's a robot barista coffee kiosk here inside of Tokyo Station. That's the robot. Oh, I see. The coffee's over there. Ah, it's being he made over there. She, I don't know. He or she. They are making. It is making. It is making. Coffee. I see. Oh, you got the Americano? Americano. Oh, okay. A robot barista. Americano. Its name is Ella. Ella. Interesting. Your coffee is real. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Oh. Where where it's going? Ah, interesting. Yeah. Oh, and you have to scan. Ah. Oh, interesting. Good. Wow, does it come with a cover? I yeah. think so. Ah, I see you can get a cover over there. Okay. Interesting. It's called Ella. Yay. Good vibes only. Good vibes only, for sure. Alright guys, we've arrived at the Shinkansen platform and our train is already here. Kind of in a rush. Mm. Green tea. I'll get some green tea. Yep. Looks 
スイカでお願いしますありがとうございます I've got my green tea ready to Thank you for waiting. Right, we're on the train, we're just about ready for departure. That's Satoshi's lunch here. That's his、uh, salad. Goodbye, Tokyo. See you in about 10 days. We'll be back in about 10 days. Yep, this time it's a pretty long trip. We're gonna be filming a lot of videos for you guys. This is Satoshi's Chicken Namban Bento. It's basically Karage Bento with a tartar sauce like sauce. It's a famous dish in Fukuoka. He seemed to really enjoy his bento. We both love Karage chicken. Love, love, love. I love riding on the train, looking out the window with a bottle of tea. Look at that, Mount Fuji! Wow, this is so nice. You know, it's pretty rare that you can see Mount Fuji from the train. Look at that, that's a perfect view. We have arrived at Hiroshima Station. Alright, guys, it is time to get out of the station, walk over to the hotel, and check in. By the way, guys, I was so completely, utterly exhausted by this time that I just didn't have the energy to film myself talking. So please forgive me, I'm gonna be voiceovering the remainder of this video. So, this is the city of Hiroshima. Hiroshima is a beautiful city. The public transportation includes the streetcars, which are really, really nice. The hotel we're staying at is called the Nest Hotel, and it's about a 15 to 17 minute walk from Hiroshima Station. You can take the streetcar, but、uh, I just prefer walking. And Nest Hotel is located right across from Mitsukoshi Department Store, actually, super, super central to Hiroshima. This is my third time staying at this hotel. You can tell I'm a pretty big fan of this place, and the prices are very reasonable. So, here's our room. Yeah, it's a pretty small room, it's a total of 15 square meters, so it's not large by any measure. However, It only cost us 3,500 yen per night for two people, and that does include a light breakfast in the morning. So, let me just quickly show you the room. There's no real closet, you just have four hangers between the two of you. So, yeah, you know, nice, cozy layout, but you can't really bring too much. 
I actually think this room is perfect for one person, maybe a little too small for two people. That's just my opinion though. The beds are super comfy. And you have a lot of uh, electrical outlets, all the light switches. And I usually work right over here. All right, let's see. Let me show you this. This is what I found pretty neat of this hotel. Because it's such a small room, there isn't space for anything. So you have like your tissue paper, your hair dryer, and your room slippers against the wall. So I, I think it's pretty clever of them to do it this way. You know, this gives you more room to walk around instead of putting bulky furniture in the room. And you have more outlets here, right by the seating area. Let's check out the view. You see, you're right outside, actually right in front of the streetcar station so super convenient you can get everywhere and right across the street is Mitsukoshi department store and we have another window here since I got the corner room but there's not much of a view but at least you can get some light into your room which is nice yeah I'm pretty satisfied with this room and for the price, you can't really complain. 3,500 yen. You got a flat screen TV. You have a little refrigerator, empty refrigerator for your own use, which I always appreciate. You have a telephone in case you need to call the front desk. I've actually never used the hotel telephone in these past 10 years. I never need them anymore. You got more outlets here. And this is the empty refrigerator. Like I said, I always appreciate an empty refrigerator. Just make sure to turn it on. You got a couple of mugs here and glasses, some coasters, stir sticks, you have some packs of coffee. I also like the design of these mugs. I think they're pretty cool looking. I do wish they gave us tea bags though. They only offer coffee here at this hotel. I wish I drank coffee. You have a nice Bermuda water kettle. This is nice. Bermuda is a really nice brand. And that's a safety box. I also never use these anymore. And you have a flashlight in case you need it. Very useful when you live in an earthquake prone country like Japan. And you have your pajamas and these are super comfy. Alright, let's check out the unit bathroom. So it's your typical unit bathroom, all-in-one bathroom. And you find these in business hotels, but I think this one is quite stylish. You have your modern toilet. You have toilet paper, and of course, you have the bidet functions. You always have these in Japanese toilets. You have towels. You have hand towels. Yeah, I do wish they gave you like an extra towel, but they don't really. You get like basically one bath towel and one wash towel per person. You have some amenities here. That's toothbrush and toothpaste.
and this is your sink and this soap is for your hands and your face actually it's really nice I like how it smells it's very nice a couple of glasses here actually plastic cups I should say and this is your bathtub slash shower it's pretty basic you have your shampoo conditioner and your body soap and they smell amazing it's a pretty beat how say it's a pretty deep bathtub which I appreciate as well I like taking baths especially after a long day of walking Now, what is Hiroshima famous for as far as food is concerned? Can you guys guess? That's right, it's okonomiyaki. And okonomiyaki in Hiroshima is different from the okonomiyaki in Osaka. Here in Hiroshima, they always add noodles and the okonomiyaki is made in layers. This one uh, includes egg on the top and it's really, really delicious. In Osaka, the way they make ok okonomiyaki is they mix all the ingredients together and they cook it on the grill top. However, in, in Hiroshima, like I said, they cook it in layers. I really can't choose which one I like more. I like both of them equally. That white thing on top is an oyster. I decided to get some oysters there's a couple of oysters on the top and there are some oysters inside as well Hiroshima is also famous for oysters by the way anyway if you ever find yourself in Hiroshima you have got to try the okonomiyaki that is like their pride and joy and it's really the best thing you can put in your mouth in Hiroshima if you don't eat okonomiyaki when you're in Hiroshima, you are definitely missing out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, the next video, we are taking a trip to a place I've always wanted to show you guys. Like, I literally waited years to come back to this place. And the last time I was here was before YouTube days. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I really hope you guys uh, enjoy the next video. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. And once again, I apologize that I voiced over about half of this video. I was literally exhausted and I seriously did not have any energy left in my voice. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Continue to stay safe. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.